Hello there everyone and welcome. My name is Lisa and I am so glad that you are here today as we put together these three gnome crafts. These are the perfect little DIY projects for the upcoming Christmas holidays. Everything that I am using for these gnome DIY crafts came from Dollar Tree except for my paint. I got that at Joann's stores. It is cheaper there than at Dollar Tree if you catch it on sale. So be sure and look out for those deals at Joann's stores if you have one near you. Otherwise, Dollar Tree is a great place to find craft projects on the cheap. I found this tin frame. It is magnetic and I'm going to be using it with this gnome for the holiday sign. I pulled these little gnomes off of the gnome garland that you will see in my third project. The ribbon and the elf legs are going to be on this project as well. It's going to be a very cute message board where you can keep track of all your to-do list, all your projects, all your plans for Christmas. start here with my tin picture frame. I'm measuring out my ribbon, cutting it on a diagonal so that it fits around the frame perfectly. I will hot glue this on three sides. The fourth side I will be using E6000 and going back with hot glue because the E6000 soaked right into the particle board of the gnome for the holiday sign and secured that. I will show you that all step by step here with written directions. Always feel free to ask me any questions or leave any comments below. I love to hear from y'all and I'm happy to answer anything that isn't clear in the video. the position of the frame onto the sign it makes it so much easier right here when you go to glue everything together and I use a heavy book to secure it together while it dries. I was so excited to bring you this video in collaboration with these three wonderful hosts and a whole selection of YouTube content creators that have wonderful DIY projects as well. So be sure you go check out So Kate, Mama Mia DIY, and Z9 Designs. They are hosting this collaboration. I will have their channels linked down in the description box and then a playlist with all of the gnome crafts in it so go check that out when you're done watching my video today you will get all the ideas and crafting you need for the upcoming Christmas holiday And thank you to So Kate. Kate is wonderful. I have known her for a long time now here on YouTube and Instagram. And I just got to meet Mama Mia DIY and Z9 Designs through this collaboration. And I'm so excited to make new friends here. If you are coming over from one of the other ladies' channels, please say hello in the comments. I would love to welcome you to Uniquely Lisa. 
I am the stay-at-home wife and mom to two older boys. I have a love and passion for all things housekeeping and homemaking. That includes DIY projects that can make your home a special and unique place. If you also love things like cooking, cleaning, shopping, shopping hauls, just mom and wife life, then I invite you to join the family here. We have a wonderful community and I would love for you to be a part of that. After everything is dry and secure, I'm going to change out this ribbon on the hanger as well as glue the little elf legs onto my gnome message board with hot glue. You could see that the magnets were super easy to make. If you need to buy magnets, they have those at Dollar Tree or any crafting section at your big box stores, but I happen to have these on hand and just use those. I think it came together beautifully. It is super cute. It's going to be the perfect and festive place for me to pin all of my to-do lists and Santa's nice and naughty list right here. The third DIY gnome craft is this little wooden container. It is super cute. The outline of the gnome and his design is etched in, so it is perfect for painting, kind of like a paint by numbers. Any skill set, any level can do this. Your kids could paint these. That would be fun. I'm using craft paint that I already have. You, like I said earlier, you can get this at Dollar Tree, but it's cheaper to find it at other places. Dollar Tree is just sometimes very convenient. I'm gonna lay out all my colors here and then we're gonna get to painting. going to start with the white so that the darker colors do not bleed over into it and minimize that here and then just work my way around my little gnome painting all the different base colors on him get creative and use your imagination I wanted him to coordinate with the gnomes on my message board so I'm painting him in that same color scheme but you could paint him any way that you wanted to match the aesthetic of your Christmas decorations around your home.
have the green color that I wanted and I was not really wanting to get out and go to the store for one little color of paint. So I am just going to try and mix up my own. I am putting this bright green color with some black and a tiny little bit of red and we're going to go with that. It is close enough to the original color on the gnome message board that it will coordinate and work just fine. If you're not confident in your ability to mix the paint then definitely pick up the color of green that you want. leave your gnome just like this the way we painted it with just the flat base colors but I wanted to juice him up just a little bit more so after I paint the base with this green I'm going to give some shading and texture to my gnome and there's really no right or wrong way to do this I just start blending the lighter and darker colors I add layers add more layers paint over add some more just play around with him until I get him shaded in so that he doesn't look as flat but like I said you can definitely leave him the way he was he was cute enough just like that for anybody that doesn't know, I have a background in fashion design. Before I was a stay-at-home mom, that was my career. So I have a creative side and a lot of art background. So this may be a little bit easier for me than some of y'all, but give it a shot. I had to learn to, and you can do it as well as I can. It just may take a little practice. So don't be scared. Get in there and try something new today. Using the tip of my wooden paintbrush, I'm going to dip it into the white paint and then just make little tiny dots on the present, just like the ones in the no message board. Using the end of your paintbrush is a great technique to get perfect little circles and dots on your package.
after we finish painting his design, we're going to go back with red and paint all of the rest of the container. You could use whichever color you like, but I just love this pop of red color. What do you think of our little gnome container? Isn't he so cute? I just love him. And I'm going to use him to make a little floral arrangement in. I think it would also be a great little container for your pins here on your desk. You could also put candy canes on him, use him in your cocoa bar to keep your little cocoa accessories. Anywhere really, he is a very versatile gnome container. You can make multiples of him. Let your imagination go wild because the possibilities are endless. last DIY gnome project is so easy and simple. We are making a lighted gnome garland. I love these 20 light strands that I get at Dollar Tree for a dollar and a quarter. They are great and I add them all over my home to bring sparkle to the holidays. We're going to paint these unfinished wooden gnome ornaments red and then wrap the garland around the strand of lights, tie on the gnomes, and then that is your very simple DIY lighted gnome garland. You could use this anywhere. It would be great in a kid's room, but I am going to use it around my desk so that I have a fun and festive place to work on all my videos during Vlogmas. If you have noticed, I have been drinking my Javi Coffee Concentrate throughout the entire afternoon while making these crafts. I love Javi Coffee Concentrate and I'm an affiliate. I have a discount code for you. It's Lisa, L-E-S-A 20. That gets you 20% off your order. I will have that as well as the link down in my description box. I have bought them with my own money as well. This bottle was gifted to me from Javi because I am an affiliate, but I only endorse and promote things here on my channel that I put my own money down on, and I absolutely have done that with Javi. So check that out as well as my channel for additional recipes because here at Uniquely Lisa, I run on caffeine, positive vibes, and good energy.
give Kate a huge thank you for inviting me to be in this collaboration with her, as well as Mama Mia DIY and Z9 Designs. They have just been wonderful and gracious hosts, and I have enjoyed working with them and meeting all of the ladies. Don't forget to go check out their channels that are linked down in the description, as well as the playlist with all of the content creators. Don't forget to leave that thumbs up before you click off the video today. That means a lot to me and really does help out this video and my channel. If you haven't already and you love what you saw or you enjoy all things homemaking, then I invite you to join the Uniquely Lisa family. I would love to have you here. I hope you have the most wonderful and blessed day. And I look forward to seeing you on here again real soon.